So today we're going to be looking at 11, that's right, 11 new weapons coming to Battlefield Hardline. Some we haven't seen for a while and others you'll probably know from Battlefield 4, but before we begin, I want to say a massive thank you to Danny on PC for letting me use his footage that he recorded at Gamescom, which is where the new DLC, Robbery, is being shown off right now. I've said this before, but Danny is the guy that you want to subscribe to if you want to be the first to see new content for Battlefield games. He beats everybody to the mark every single time. His channel's in the description, so go follow him. So first up, we have the F2000 Assault Rifle, a weapon I've got to say that I don't use all that often in Battlefield 4, but will certainly fit right into Hardline with its high rate of fire and good hip fire capabilities. This weapon will be available at first to the criminals, but as always, can be unlocked for the cops using a weapon license. Next is the MDC, which is a cop faction assault rifle, obviously available to the operator class. Only a small clip here and not much to see other than Danny wrecking casuals who clearly don't play on PC all that often. Another weapon that certainly fits in with Hardline's short time to kill is the FAMAS, which is also going to serve you well in those close quarter crazy gunfights. At the end of the clip here, you can also see the FN57, another weapon making its way in from Battlefield 4. Up next is what looks like another straight BF4 port with the RPK, coming to the Operator class for the Criminals. Funny, I'd have thought it had been better suited in the Enforcer class, but no, right now it's for the Operator. You might remember the last DLC, Criminal Activity, was an all-Enforcer weapon DLC, so maybe that's why the RPK isn't with that class. The Sargia 12 Auto Shotgun, will be making an appearance as a criminal faction weapon, alongside a surprise addition, the Barrett M82 50 cal semi-auto sniper rifle. Yeah, I was a little bit taken aback by this as well. It's no longer a power-up weapon, it's exclusive to the professional or recon class, although right now it's not being pinned to a specific faction. Veterans, get ready to scream. With the addition of the M1A1 Thompson in the last DLC, Seems Visceral are continuing that theme of classic weaponry with the addition of the M1 Carbine, which will act as an all-faction weapon, just like the Thompson does. Whoop whoop for Visceral. Two more weapons before we get to the real showstopper. The MP7 and the CZ-3A1, or as it will be known in Hardline, the Scorpion, are making their way into the game at some point, with the MP7 being an all-kit PDW and the Scorpion being tied to the Mechanic class. And yes, you saw it in the title, Visceral are adding throwing knives into Battlefield Hardline, although not in the way that you might think. They will take the place of your grenade, not your knife. So you're going to need to decide if you want to 360 phase a criminal in the head with a knife or maybe be a little bit more helpful to your team and take a grenade. So that's it, 11 new weapons in this build of Hardline. No idea which are coming for the robbery DLC, but this is sure as hell getting me excited for it. For those of you who have been asking me to post more Hardline content, well, I didn't really like the Criminal Activity DLC all that much. It felt really lacklustre and maybe just a little bit boring. But having already played the four maps coming in this robbery DLC at a recent trip to Visceral Studio, I can say you're probably going to like this one a whole lot more. It comes with new textures, new assets and completely new environments. It's not been taken from the single player at all. But thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment and smash that like button if you want to see more hardline content on this channel. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.